Hey everybody, I am here for another What Am I Reading this week. Um, if you noticed, uh, the past two weeks I've been doing a Tea Time Rewind video, um, and I did watch it this week, but the reason I'm not doing a Tea Time Rewind video this week is just because I don't, I didn't really like any of the questions, and so it was just kind of like, I don't really know what to do. So, um, I just figured I'd just go back to what I was doing to begin with, which is What Am I Reading? And, um, so right now, um, I finished A Blind Spot for Boys by Justina Chen last night, and, um, I absolutely loved it, as I do all of Justina's books. They're fantastic. Um, if you have not read any of her books, or even didn't realize that she had a new book out, you know, go get this book. If you haven't read any of her books, just go get them all. Okay. She's written three others, and they're all fantastic, and, um, and she's just an amazing person, so do that. <laughs> um, and I started reading Evil Librarian by Michelle Nedson, which um, I'm on a blog tour for. Um, it's being published by Candlewick, um, I think later this month, I don't think it's come out just yet. But, um, so I'm reading that for a blog tour. Uh, and my stop is on September 17th, I think, and I'll be doing a review of this and an interview with Michelle, so be sure to check that out. Um, I'm not too terribly far into it, I just had a chance to read it on my break today, so I'm only like 12 pages in, and, um, but I'm really liking it so far. Um, the action gets started pretty much right away, the evil librarian shows up within the first 10 pages, and, um, and it is, and it is pretty funny too. I like the voice of it so far. So I'm excited to read the rest of it and see where this all goes. Plus, I really enjoyed the cover. It's really funny. On the e-galley side, I'm still reading Bleed Like Me by C. Desir. Um, I'm going to try and finish it tonight. And then start on Just Like the Movies by Kelly Fiore. Um, Bleed Like Me, I'm kind of like, I, I waffle in between enjoying it and and kind of feeling eh, about it, mainly because of the love interest, who I think, I mean, I think he's the love interest, I'm, you know, I don't know if he will be the end of book love interest or not yet, but, um, but currently I'm not really, like, he, he, like, he's kind of good, but kind of bad at the same time, so it's just like, I don't really know what to do, so, I'm going to finish reading the book and see how it goes, because I'm about, like, halfway through now, so, um, so I'm going to finish reading that and see how it all turns out. Maybe it'll turn out better than I think, but we will see. Um, <laughs> and then, just like the movies, is Kelly Fiore's, um, second book. Her first book, uh, came out last year. It's called Taste Test, and I really enjoyed it. It was such a good book. Um, I did feel like the mystery was kind of a little bit tacked on, so... But aside from that, I mean, I really loved um, dealing with um, the reality show aspects of it. And, and basically, if you write a book and it's about a TV show or a reality show or some kind of entertainment business thing, I want to read it because I love it. I love that stuff. So it's so much fun reading. Like, I don't think I could ever actually write that sort of stuff, but I love reading it. So, um... So I really enjoyed that, and so I'm excited to read this one. It's just, you know, a fun, cute, contemporary romance, and so I'm just really excited to read the rest of it, to start reading it and uh, get that going. And that's it for books I'm reading right now. And I will go ahead and start. I have two books to show off um, this week uh, that I got recently. Um, the Bridge from Me to You by Lisa Schroeder. Um, I had an Ian galley of this, um, but I completely missed the date um, before it got archived, because I kept, like, throughout, because it got archived, ar it got archived on September 1st, and throughout the whole month of August, I kept being like, oh, I've still got, like, two weeks, oh, I've still got one week, and then that last week just, like, flew by, and I just lost all sense of what day it was, and then I woke up, like, 3 a.m. in the middle of the night, being like, oh my god, it's September 1st, and then, like, it's already been archived. So I emailed Scholastic and was just like, I understand that this, this book came out um, over a month ago, 
but I'm really hoping that you could send me a review copy of it because I love Lisa's book so much, I really do, and I had recently posted a review of the first book in our new middle grade series um, called Caitlin's Lucky Charm, and um, which she had sent to me personally, uh, uh, which was very sweet of her, and um, so I guess they just figured it would be okay. So they sent me a copy, and I'm really, really excited to read this. Um, it'll be fantastic, too, because while I did get to read um, her kind of actual prose in uh, this new middle grade series, um, I'm excited to read it from a, in a young adult book. And then uh, she goes back and forth between, because it goes between two different characters, and one of them writes in verse and the other one is in prose. So I'm really excited to read this and hopefully I will get to it very, very, very soon. I will definitely make a point to do that. And um, this came out of nowhere. I was so happy when I got it in the mailbox because I really wasn't not expecting it at all. And um, my friend Gail, who runs, and of course I blank on <laughs> her um, blog name, I wish I could remember. I am going to put a link to it in the description just because I, I cannot believe. I'm sure I will remember as soon as I finish this video. But, and I'm, while I'm talking, I will be going through in my head trying to picture her website and try and remember what, <laughs> what her blog is called. Um, but my friend Gail, uh, sent me, uh, an advanced copy. It's not really an advanced copy anymore because it came out in June, but, um, a fan art by Sarah Tregay, which I was really excited about. And because I loved her book, Love and Leftovers. And for some reason, this book completely bypassed me in my monthly Harper mailing. So I don't know what happened to it. But I was so excited to get this. I'm really, really excited to read it. And speaking of people who are writing, who used to write in verse and now they're writing in prose. Love and Leftovers was a verse novel, and now in this one she's writing in prose. So I'm really excited to read this. And Gail also threw in a fun little exciting thing. It was little buttons. And um, they're Stephanie Perkins buttons because she was lucky enough to be able to get an advanced copy of Isla and the Happily Ever After. Um, about a month before release, and um, so one of them says, Josh, oh, they came out. <laughs> it was already open, I didn't realize that. Um, one of them is, I heart Cricket Bell, and there's um, Etienne Jetame, which I probably butchered <laughs> that French word, and then Josh Forever, because Josh is the uh, one in the fourth book, or the fourth, the third book. I keep wanting the, there to be more books. And I just dropped a button. Alrighty, so... <laughs> so I'm really excited to read all these books. And, um, and I will see you all next week with another video. Bye-bye.